हेलो वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 2.95 सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन दैट नोइंग दैट द होल हैज डायमीटर ऑफ 9 मिलीमीटर डिटरमाइन द रेडियस आर एफ ऑफ द फिलेट फॉर विच द सेम मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस अकर एट होल ए एंड एट द फिलेट करस्पॉन्डिंग मैक्सिमम लोड अलाउेबल लोड पी इफ द अलाउेबल स्ट्रेस इज हंड्रेड मेगा पासकल नाउ यू कैन सी दिस फिगर दिस इज कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल आर प्रॉब्लम नाउ देर इज अ स्मॉल होल ए एंड देर इज अ फिलेट आर एफ एज वेल एंड द लोड पी इज अप्लाइड सो लेट मी राइट द गिवन डेटा गिवन दैट दिस होल एज डायमीटर ऑफ होल इज नाइन सो रेडियस ऑफ होल ए इज इक्वल टू नाइन डिवाइड बाई टू विच इज इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट फाइव मिलीमीटर क्लियर एंड द मैक्सिमम अलाउेबल लोड इज गिवन दैट इज सिगमा अलाउेबल इज गिवन एज हंड्रेड मेगा पासकल सो वट यू हैव टू फाइंड यू हैव टू फाइंड नंबर फर्स्ट रेडियस आर एफ ऑफ द फिलेट दिस रेडियस आर एफ फॉफ ऑफ द फिलेट एंड द सेकेंड पार्ट इज दैट करस्पॉन्डिंग मैक्सिमम लोड सो पी लोड is you have to find this so let's start with the solution again you can see there are two feature one is this hole a and other one is this fillet so we will start for hole a so for hole a i will write uh, uh, that this radius of hole which is r a is given as 4.5 mm clear we know that uh, here this is hole and this hole this is equal to capital d this whole width is equal to capital d and this capital d is equal to 96 mm now what about small d what is small d small d is uh, i will write it small d is equal to capital d minus diameter of hole a diameter of hole a which is equal to this space i will write i will show you this space and this space if you remove the diameter of hole a so the remaining space is small d and this d is equal to capital d minus diameter of hole dia of hole a so what is capital d capital d is 96 minus smaller diameter of hole is uh, diameter of hole a is 9 9 clear so it comes out to be 87 mm now this d is e equal to a 87 mm we will now move toward net area so net area is equal to you know that this is d into t so d is uh, 87 and thickness of this plate is 9 mm so 87 into 9 clear and that's we, that will give you 7 uh, uh, this is in millimeter square millimeter so when you multiply it and convert into meter so that will be equal to 783 into 10 raised to power minus 6 square meter you can convert it it's very easy so this is net area now what we will do is that we know that maximum stress is equal to k into average stress where k is stress concentration factor stress concentration factor and how we can find this stress concentration factor so for that we need the formula or we need we need uh, uh, 2r 2 into r divided by d so 2 we will calculate it 2 into r is 4.5 2 into 4.5 or 2 multiply by 4.5 divide by d which is equal to 96 mm so again when you calculate it it 2r over d comes out to be 0.09375 now you have to take this value and from figure 20.6 you can calculate 
k clear so this is figure 20.6 b i will show you let's move to figure 20.6 b you can check this here we will apply this one uh, this one so you can see this is d this is radius so what we have uh, sorry for hole we will apply this not this is for fillet clear so we have d uh, 2r over d 0.093 so 0.093 is approximately near to 0.1 so if you project it vertically clear here the thickness of this pen is too much there and if you project it horizontally so it's come out to be approximately k comes out to 2.72 or you can take 2.73 or 4 etc so k is this one let's move back so k is equal to 2.72 now we know that uh, from this formula we know that stress maximum stress is equal to k into average stress is p divided by net area clear so from here you will get this p is equal to sigma max into net area divided by k okay so you have values sigma max allowable stress is given as uh, 100 megapascal so 100 uh, megapascal so mega is 10 to power 6 into net area which is this one 783 into 10 to power minus 6 divided by k is 2.8 seven two so from here you will get the load that is 28.78 into 10 to the power 3 newton or that is load is equal to 28.78 kilo newton now you have been asked in question that uh, the radius RF of the fillet for which the stress maximum stress occur at the hole A and the fillet. So you have to use the same load for finding the radius of fillet. We will move toward the, our second part for for fillet. Now for fillet we need certain thing. How you will know? So you can see for fillet you will need D, this D by this. Uh, sorry for fillet you need this d by d let me check why this pencil is not working annotation okay so you need this uh, you need something is wrong so here you can see if you see this d by d and your r by d you need these values clear so okay i got it what's the problem you have to edit it anyone can edit the link apply don't know the problem exists here same okay so from here you will uh, you will need d by d and r over d so we will go toward our problem and we will find this uh, d capital d and small d so what is capital d capital d is same as 96 millimeter and this small d is the width of this portion which is 60 and if you find this d by d so d by d is equal to 96 divided by 60 which comes out to be 1.60 okay now what about net area for the fillet portion so net area is equal to you can see here this is the weight which is 60 and this is the thickness which is 9 millimeter so net area is 60 into 9 millimeter and that come out come out to be 540 millimeter square and that in meter is it is equal to 540 into 10 is to power minus 6 square meter okay as we know that maximum stress is equal to k and here k is for fillet 
into p divided by a minimum now what is a minimum a minimum is this area you can see this is the largest area capital d into t while this is the smallest area 60 into thickness which is this one net area okay so from here you will we uh, we we have maximum stress we have p we have minimum area so k fillet can be obtained so k fillet will be equal to sigma maximum into minimum area divided by p so what you have to do you have to put all the values so k fillet is equal to sigma maximum was 100 megapascal and area minimum is this one 540 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by p load which is 1.8 uh, sorry 28.78 28.78 into 10 to the power 3 here the value of p so when you put all this value you will get this k fillet comes out to be 1.876 so this is the value of k fillet so from figure 20 point where is 20.6 B you can locate K fillet and you will get this RF over D value how I will show you so you can see that uh, this is the value of K here again the marker is not working you do not have permission to edit the file so you can see that here the k value is 1.60 so you have to let me take the picture and then i will write something on it okay you can see this is 1.5 clear this is for d by d is equal to 2 this is 1.3 we do not have 1.5 curve so again you have to go k is 1.6 so it will be k will be somewhere this is 1.5 clear and d by 2 uh, d by 2 is not available so this is one this curve is i will choose another color so you can see this curve is for 1.5 this one clear and k is 1 point k is uh, sorry k is 1.86 so this is 0.186 will be somewhere here so if you project it vertically so it will be somewhere here and again if you move horizontally so it will be like this one so you can see this is the point where where you have uh, again i have mistake you can see i will show you it again you have k value is uh, 1.86 so 1.86876 will be somewhere here so if you project it horizontally clear so you can see what uh, the, the this is the place where it may cut the d by d 1.5 this is for d 1.5 we have 1.6 so if you project it downward clear so you will have r over d is 0.19 clear so we will write we will move back again so you have r f over d 0 0.19 so from here you have r f is equal to 0 0.19 multiply by d now what is d d is the uh, this this distance is d this distance is d so you can put the value so rf is equal to 0 0.19 multiplied by 60 and this rf comes out to be 11.4 millimeter so this is our answers so in part a we have been asked to find rf which is 11.4 millimeter and in part b it was asked to find the load 28 which is 28.8 kilo newton so these are our desired answers i hope you have enjoyed the video and if you have any question you can ask me in 
कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग